Hey, how's it you guys? Isa B, Roma Surf Talk Story 6. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for dialing in. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending upon where you are right now. We just want to thank you so much, Massive Mahalos, for dialing in to another talk story. This one we're going to turbocharge today, guys. We're going to go ahead and bump instead of five video reviews and insiders, we're going to turbocharge ten just because I kind of want to catch up a little faster. I have a lot of really exciting uh, subjects to talk about in the upcoming talk stories. So I kind of want to get to that point. I've got a lot of really cool products as well that I want to share with you that are made locally. All of those kinds of things. So we're turbocharging today. 26 through 36 okay and uh, thank you again for dialing in I hope you're enjoying the talk story series if you like the aroma surf channel if you like the videos we're making please give us a like and if you haven't subscribed to our Ohana yet haven't become a member of the aroma surf family please subscribe we'd love to have you on board I uh, also just want to appreciate love and thank all of you each and every time for watching our videos with giving us such positive comments and if you have any other comments or recommendations please always share them with us let's move forward moving forward video number 26 this is the blondies food truck blondies plant-based food and they're in Ibile which is right down by the Home Depot the Costco the Best Buy and actually in the Lowe's parking lot is the blondies food truck now it's a mother and daughter plant-based food operation. They also manufacture plant-based food products that you can buy online and order online. And the food truck is a sampler of the products they make, but you can get breakfasts and lunches at that truck. Super tasty, super fun, it's a cute truck, it's solar powered. If you are looking for something healthy and tasty in Ibile and you're there in the morning or early afternoon, Blondie's plant-based food truck is the place to check. Moving on to video number 27. Okay time. And this time we're taking it all the way to Manoa Valley. Off the hook poke. Right down across the street from the Manoa Marketplace on East Manoa Road. Great poke. Super fresh. All locally caught ahi. Uh, this is a topping style, kind of a little more of a gourmet style of poke, which is kind of popular now. It's not just great poke, but it's also with these great toppings, uh, fried onions, uh, furikake, just all kinds of toppings. Check out the video. I actually list all the amazing ingredients they add. Cold ginger poke, and then they had this Kilauea faya, which is not just spicy ahi. It's spicy ahi with additional chili peppers to make it faya. Really great if you're a spicy lover. Great poke and right in Manoa Valley. Give them a check. That's off the hook. Video number 28. Oh man. Video number 28. Talk about next level, guys. Enough respect to the Juicy Brew crew. Juicy Brew, located on 9th and Wailai in Kaimu Key. Next level vegan food. They make amazing vegan dishes, so much different types of varieties available, and amazing vegan desserts. Uh, you can check their Instagram page. They usually showcase what they're having at their venues for the week. They also have a small little venue in the Hale Pava'a building on the corner of South Baratania and Keamoku, which is like a medical building, and they're in the entry lobby, ground floor there. Uh, I know because I go there for the hand. I'm still getting the therapy on that hook finger. Thanks for the patience with that too, guys. Uh, so after my therapy, it's awesome. I'm looking forward to another tasty meal at Juicy Brew. you got to check them out. It's just super exciting. Uh, I try something different every time I go there, and I'm not going to lie. I go there a lot just because I want to really know their menu inside out. Video number 29, dessert time, amazing ice cream. This is homemade ice cream factory, right in Chinatown, wing ice cream. Enough respect Miller, Miller wing, 
He is the one-man ice cream clan in Chinatown. Amazing homemade ice cream. He does vegan creams. He also does dairy creams. His vegan creams are coconut milk based. Amazing flavors. Uh, I think over a hundred and eighty different flavors he's made before. Uh, he's constantly in the shop brewing up new blends. So if you haven't tasted wing ice cream, you better. It's the best ice cream on this rock. It's in Chinatown. He was born and raised there, decided Chinatown needed ice cream, and he was the man that made it happen. You can also pick up pints of his cream to take home to share with the fans. So check it out online for those pre-orders. Wing ice cream in Chinatown. Video number 30, part three of our Apollo Ghost series. Wifey's first ride. It was great. We got the wifey out on the Apollo Ghost for her first time official under the cameras and she loved it. Uh, the video showcases her riding the ghost in different cool places. Uh, we start out in the valley and we take it from there. And it's just, we want to showcase the fact that micro mobility, you know, e scooters, it's, it's not a gendered thing. It's men, it's women, it's all of us being green, being echo, and having convenient, gas free transportation. You know, commutable transportation. It's awesome. If you haven't ridden an electric scooter, I recommend going out and trying one today or tonight or tomorrow. Um, Wifey loves it just as much as I do. Uh, I just want to also let you guys know I use the term guys a lot. Um, guys here locally is meaning people, a group of people, not necessarily men or women. Um, I'm definitely not separating anyone here. I love the women, I love the men, and most important, speaking of the women, happy belated Mother's Day to all the mothers in the world out there. I just want to stop everything right now and pay my respects strictly to you. Thank you for your motherhood, thank you for your love, thank you for your support all these years for bringing us onto this planet and doing what you do so well. Enough respect, mothers. We love you. Moving forward to video number 31. 31 is the continuation of Apollo Ghost 3, which was Wifey's first ride. This is settings and fittings. So in part three, the wifey sampled the ghost, rode it around town, let us know what she thought, what she liked about it. In the continuation of part three, we get into customized fittings and settings of the ghost scooter for her. And what's cool about this, it's not necessarily just for her, it would be for any one of you that has an electric scooter and a ghost, not necessarily just a ghost, but how you can actually change the hardware around to make it more effectively comfortable for you to use. Brake lever, positioning, adjustments, all that kind of stuff. Check out the video. We dialed in the bike exactly to how the wifey liked it, and then she rode it again with the new customized fittings and settings and gave us her reviews and feelings about that. So uh, we'll see you there. That's Ghost Part 3, continued settings and fittings. Moving on to video number 32. It's Ahi time, guys. And uh, we're going over to Kaka'ako to the Nikko Fish Truck. Nikko's Pier 39, if you've been there already, they're right there at the piers, home of the Ahi Auctions. They have their original fish market and ground floor venue, which is a restaurant with outdoor seating, ample outdoor seating. They've actually expanded since the pandemic. And then they also have a little bit of a higher end restaurant on top of that. This is the extension of the fish market ground floor uh, restaurant, but at a fish truck, lunch truck, in Kaka'ako at the grassy picnic benched park where the different food trucks sometimes will be parked to service. Nikos is there, check them out. They've got the same food that you can get at Pier 39 for lunch, the Ahi Foodi Kake, but sitting in the park, watching all that cool art in Kaka'ako. Check out Nikos Fish Truck, guys. They've only been around for a few months, so uh, definitely get on down there and grab some of that Furikake. Moving forward to video number 33, 
I like grainy mozzarella. Oh, this was a fun video, guys. Talk about great mozzarella. Amazing. Uh, Chef Pasquale Allegrini from Bari, Italy. Super amazing Italian chef providing great real Italian food to us here in Hawaii, right at the Diamond Head Center on Montserrat Avenue. His original venue was located downtown during the pandemic times. He relocated. It's a, when we got there, it was only two weeks fresh. Great Italian food. He also has really great food products in there as well. Everything's imported from Italy. Get some real Italian food right over by Diamond Head. Seating will be available for indoor seating soon now that things are starting to free up. So give him a check. That's Allegretti Mozzarella in the Diamond Head Center on Montserrat Avenue. Great pizza, great Italian food, amazing mozzarella cheese. Moving on to video number 34. Video number 34, Sushi Burrito. Sushi Burrito, really cool guys. It's actually a sushi burrito, meaning burrito sized maki sushi roll. Super amazing. It's like your custom maki sushi counter, but it's burrito sized maki sushi. It has to be cut in half. It takes time to eat. It's a giant handful. For anybody that loves their maki sushi, fresh maki sushi, ahi from the islands, sourced right here, or sometimes Big Island as well. Super fresh, super tasty, up rolls, right on the corner in Kaka'ako. Really great food, really fresh ahi. A lot of it sourced from um, the Big Island as well, including their avocados that they use. They have really cool merchandise on the inside. They make a lot of their own sauces. Go inside, check it out, and have an up roll. Video number 35. It's pizza time, guys. We're having a pizza party, taking it right back into Manoa Valley. Real New York pizza in Hawaii, J&B Pizza. In the Manoa Marketplace, just around the corner from the Safeway, kind of in that back little nook, ground floor. Two partners wanting to bring a taste of New York style pizza to the islands. It's really awesome. The J and B is the initials of the partners. They're making hand tossed New York style pizza with the hand tossed in the glass right in Manoa Marketplace. Super great margarita pizza that we had. Their tomato sauce is just super rich. They do the thick style cuts of their tomatoes, so it's just smothered, super zesty, and then blanketed with that buffalo mozzarella. Now they also do pizza by the slice, lunch combis, all kinds of stuff like that. So you can order a whole pie or you can go in there and get a, li a giant slice, which isn't that easy to find anymore, the giant slice pizza places. So uh, Manoa's got it, J&B Pizza guys, check it out. Video number 36, thank you so much for hanging in there. Video number 36, Final video review for today. It's a poke party again, and this time at a really cool venue. The Ohana Holly Marketplace, which is on Ward Avenue. It's actually the old Sports Authority building, if you guys remember. It's a giant building, it's a giant space. Now it's been converted into an indoor food vending courtyard which is super cool. All kinds of different food vendors, local food vendors, serving up their local food. And then there's also different types of local merchandise sold in there. Really reminded us of the original international marketplace in Waikiki. I don't know if you guys remember. The original marketplace was super casual. It was outdoor. It was super cool. It was, uh, you know, food kiosks, tiki carving, Polynesian music stages, dancing, just vibes, you know, real Hawaii vibes. It's not that high-end marketplace that we have now. It actually had a lot of culture back then. And what's really cool about the Ohana Hale Marketplace is it kind of recaptures that vibe and it's covered. So if it's raining, guess what? You're not gonna get dumped on. Good news is, guys, you've got so much variety in there to choose from. Please check out the Ohana Hale Marketplace. I know you're gonna love a lot of the different food that's in there. We stopped at Ocean Taste, it's right in the center, 
We had these two different bowls of poke. They don't just have ahi poke, they have all kinds of taco, octopus, squid, uh, kaki, which is the uh, fresh oyster. Man, you guys gotta check them out. Their fish all comes from the same auction at Nico's down at the Pier 39. Super fresh, and their poke is on fire. Also topping style, so I sampled the cold ginger because if they have cold ginger, I love cold ginger poke. And then I also tried what they called the California, which was a different version of a spicy ahi with um, lots of really cool toppings. So that's Ocean Taste in the Ohana Holly Marketplace on Ward Avenue. If you haven't been there, give them a check. Lots of different food to choose from. Thank you so much, guys. Super exciting. Talk Story 7 is next week. We're almost there. We've got lots of great things to talk about coming up and really cool local products to share with you as well. And just lots of um, topics to discuss, you know, about Hawaii and lifestyle and everything positive and happy every time. Well, that's a wrap, guys, for today. We'll see you next week for Talk Story 7. Roma Surf signing off. Thank you so much. Massive mahalos for tuning in, dialing in today. Stay safe, stay blessed. If we don't see you on the street, if we don't see you in the kitchen, if we don't see you in the surf, we'll see you right here. Take care. Big love. Aloha.